Welcome to this week's episode of Sportsman's Journal. Tyler and I are enjoying a nice hot cup of coffee before our day gets crazy. Yep. And it, it will. It, it will. It will get crazy as usual. Sportsman's Journal, that's kind of the typical route we take. Yeah. Uh, 4.30 is difficult to get up and to get excited for unless we're going after a certain thing. We're going to be hitting up walleyes. On Lake of the Woods. Yeah, we're excited about that. We're I'm up at Tamarack excited. Island, one of our favorite places. The Hackos have us all set up. Mm -hmm. Beautiful cabin, nice and cozy warm. But we're going to leave that friendly confines and we're going to head to a rock hump we have not visited before. But before we set up, because when we set up, we're set up. We don't <laughs> move. So before we set up, we're going to use the pan optics, we're going to yep. scan around and we're going to find the structure that we want. Right. We kind of go through the, the conundrum that a lot of ice fishermen go through and that is once you're set up, how much do you want to unset up and yeah, move around? Yeah. And so we're going to try to show you how to kind of combat that so you don't have to move as much. Maybe not even at all. Well, we'll find out because we're going to look for a spot on the spot. So we're looking for a piece of structure on that particular rock hump we're talking about. And we're going to try to break it down for you and get on a spot where those fish are utilizing the most and put some fish topside. Yes, I'm really excited. I'm excited to try a new spot, um, see what's what's out there because it's Lake of the Woods and anything could be there. Anything's possible. And right. we are using Northland Fishing Tackle's coffin spoon. Yep. And we have used that spoon a particular lot, but we haven't really utilized it for walleye so much. We've used a lot for panfish. It's a really good bait. Uh, it's going to catch walleye. We know that there's going to be walleyes and saugers on these rock humps. We, yeah. we know that. So um, we know it's going to be action oriented. We're hoping we can put some big ones. We want some side. bigs. Yep. Right. Uh, stay tuned. Well, before we go, can we have oh. one more cup of coffee? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Stay tuned. We will be right back after a word from our partners. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. To see their full lineup of men's, women's, and youth ice fishing apparel, visit strikerbrands.com. What do you got there? We are right next to it. Sitting right on her? Yeah, see. we're perfect actually. Oh yeah. We're just off to the side. Look at that big old rock down there. That's sweet. Lake of the Woods can be an intimidating body of water to fish. Yeah. No doubt about it. A million acres. Yeah, and, and uh, ice fishing is you're fishing out of an eight inch hole. Yeah. So that's intimidating. Like you can't just move around in your boat. So where do you set up, right? Um, and it's really important that you set up in the most optimal spot. There we go. I was trying to think of a word, but that's <laughs> perfect, yeah. And that sounds obvious, right? You want to catch yep. fish, you want to be on the fish, but how do you break down a spot? Right. There are so many pieces of structure here. Mm. Lake Master is actually the most accurate trip yep. for Lake of the Woods, and I think, me personally, I think that it is most important when ice fishing to have that really accurate map. Right, but yeah. how do you get on a spot where you're going to have your best percentage of catching the most fish? And so we're looking for structure on, Pretty much any structure we fish, we want to find that spot on the spot. X marks the spot. So we're using our electronics, we're using our forward-facing sonar, and we're using that to our advantage, scoping it out. And we've drilled several holes on top of this hump trying to find the biggest rock. Yep. And Sarah found one at about 19 foot. And it's you an can impressive tell, rock. It's really, it's an impressive rock. Yeah, it's an impressive rock. <laughs> it's about, what, six feet tall and about 10 feet long. So it's, it's a huge big, rock yeah. and it's perfect. It's almost put, like we it's, would put one there. It's like right it rolled flat. off the yep. hump. And it's sitting right on the and transition. And it's sitting right off the hump on the transition to yeah. the basin, and that's what we wanted. And it, a thing that you notice about Sportsman's Journal Saturday night, we're not the most mobile ice fishermen because we have all of our gear. So we want to find that optimal spot where these walleyes are going to be funneling through. Yeah, that there's rock fish, is impressive. Yeah. And there's fish on it? Yeah. Yes, I like that. So this is where we're going to set up. Good job, hon. I like it. All right. Multiple fish here. There you go. You gave me an extra chance. Good fish? It I got one working too. Better. Oh my god, I just missed mine. That thing just came up and stuff. annihilated it. We got a lot of ice to work our way through here. There you go. I'm not a bad one. Hey, we literally are set up. Literally. I'm not, I said literally like twice ready, but this is no kidding. <laughs> this is, we're a minute and a half in. Yeah, I just And you got in. a fish. I missed a fish. 
typical. This yeah. is this is what tamarack's all about, though. Find a hump. Find a hump, set up, and catch some fish. Jeez. Hmm. That's a good sign. Yeah, he's a little heavier. Good. He's got a little bit stronger Maybe. head shakes. I don't know if I have the best hook set in oh, making yeah, me nervous. Remember. That's a coffin spoon. You get wow. phenomenal hook sets with them. <laughs> right next to that big boulder hunt. Yeah. Just like we planned. There goes my knot. There's my Make knot. Make sure I'm out of there. I'm out of there. Where are you, buddy? That's definitely a good yep, fish. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Got to caught in my line. That's all right. There. Perfect. <laughs> Hold him up there. Nice. Yes, that's what we're after. Yes. Nice job. That is fun. There we go. All right. Nice. <laughs> that's nice. That's fun. Wow, I'm struggling all around there. Now look at that. That's a beautiful one right there. Yeah, it is. Wow. I don't think you can ask for a more beautiful no. wall. <laughs> he came right off that rock. Yeah, he came right out. So we're sitting next to kind of a big rock, um, just off of a big hump, and he came up behind it, and then he came up and walloped it. A better fish too. Oh yeah, yeah it is. I was dead sticking it. I don't know how good of a hook set this was. Okay. I was watching what you were doing over yeah. there. Oh boy. Okay, I'm almost ready. I think I got him up to the hole. What do we got? There, yep, and I bring him, bring him, bring him, oh, bring him. That's a nice fish. Nice. Yeah. Good. I'm liking those stealth gloves. I you're am doing, too. You're doing good work for me. Where is that hook? He it's gobbled that thing. In his mouth, yeah. Like, <sighs> got him? Yeah. Wow. That's a good fish right there, though, huh? It is a good one. Dead sticking, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe I should start paying attention. Look at that. He gobbled awesome. that. Wow. That is down there. That's awesome, though. That's a good fish. That is a good you one. You know what? I'll start off with, I'll take 20 inches. Do you want the pliers? It's a nice fish. Beautiful fish. Yeah, I'll take a pair of pliers. Thank you. Look at that down in there. That fish swallowed that coffin spoon down there. That, that's what I like to see. But you know what? That's one of the big things. You, you know, you let the fish dictate what's going on. And the fish hit a dead stick. So what's that telling us? That telling us that our foolers are going to be crucial today. We're going to get those out. We got to get those set up yet. But we got a plan for those. And I like when the plan starts to come together. He's a big fish. Okay, I'm here. I'm excited for you. Me too. I'm a <laughs> How big are we talking? He's big. He's big fish. And I just tightened my drag to good. get a better That's hook That's okay. Set. Let's hope you got good hooks in him. This is all part of ice fishing. You got, we got a lot of ice we got to contend with. I don't want to get in the way to cameras. He's, he's right there, but not right. Right. But not right there. Anymore. He's right there, but he's not right. Oh, I can see him on your thing. You got about five feet. There you go. You're right. You just pulled a little bit. Okay, you're coming. You're coming. You're doing good. Can you see his head? No, not yet. You're doing perfect. I don't know which way to turn him. You're doing okay. I just don't want to get whacked in the face by your rod. You're coming. You're coming. You're okay, coming. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. It's a big eyeball. Yes, it's a big eye. It's a big eyeball. You he's stuck it. in the slush. Yep. Don't worry about that. I'm here for you. Uh oh. I'm trying my best. I know. Just keep pressure right on him right yep. there. Yep. This is not easy to do because of that snow. Yes. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. I started to get a little nervous for myself. I was like, don't blow this for her. You'll never hear the end of it. Oh my God. That right there is what we're after. A yes. dandy, dandy I am so eye. excited. I watched him on the panoptics and he nice came job, and Sarah. looked and. Fantastic. Man, that was awesome watching this fish come up on the panoptics. She came up and swirled underneath it and circled and came back and like looked at it and I was like, oh, just bite. And then when she finally had it, I knew it was big. Well, I could see it. I knew it was a big fish. So that was awesome. And yeah, it was awesome to see her awesome. head come up what a dandy. and her face actually planted into the slush as she came up. So Tyler had to kind of dig her out, which is awesome. So <laughs> yeah, I had to do a little work there. Sarah, that's what we're talking about. That's why we come up here. We can't, we always stress about tamarack in the fishery, but that did not take long. No, we're going to get her back. Yeah, get her back in here. Thank you for coming. You have a good day. Here she goes. Coffin spoon. Yeah, that's exactly. We've been set up for 10 minutes. I, I can't it. wait for the rest no. of the day. The Buckshot family of spoons from Northland Tackle. The original Buckshot rattle spoon. The Buckshot coffin spoon. And the all new glass Buckshot spoon. Northland Tackle. We are walleye. We are ice.
This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. To get everything you need for your next hard water trip, check out northlandtackle.com. has been, I would say, unlimited. It's a good word, unlimited action. We've caught a lot of fish already, and yes. it's really nice when our plan comes together, which doesn't always happen on the show. <laughs> so our idea of finding that spot on the spot on the rock hump, because we talked about how big Lake of the Woods is, and there are rock reefs everywhere. So it can be a little overwhelming, like we talked about on the onset of the show, yeah. what, where to start and what to set up on. So Tyler and I talked about before where we wanted to set up on the rock comp. We knew what we wanted to come out and do. And then when once we found the boulder that we wanted to set up by, yeah. we had another long discussion about how to set up the next yeah. to the boulder. Where to set the monster lodge. I mean, it's a huge, huge yeah. rock, but that's the focal point that these fish are using coming onto this rock hump. Because as Sarah mentioned before, there's a rock hump right to our south, and then there's this rock hump right behind us. And we're right in the middle of a flat that leads up to both of them. And this big rock that we keep talking about is a perfect spot for those fish to, fish to ambush prey and it's a good spot for fish to come and utilize cover right away to get mm -hmm. when they're on that transition area trying to get to that hump. Yep. So it's kind of a perfect spot for what we want to do as far as locating fish and then also getting big fish because big fish will use that to eat little fish. Yep. And we're seeing most of the big fish that we're seeing are coming off of that Coming rock. off of the rock, exactly. Exactly. They're, they're yeah. hiding behind it or on top of it or they're utilizing that as an ambush point. So, so take the extra time Find a spot on spot, can't say that enough. We said yeah. X marks a spot. Yeah, yeah. And it sh for sure is today, especially on a big lake, lake, lake of the woods. We are on top of it. And we have foolers out, that's what I just checked, um, to help us kind of spread out. We have one on top of the hump behind us a little bit on the way up. Shallower side. And then we have one on the deep side so that we're kind of spread out and, you know, we talk about covering water as best you can. And in Ontario, where we're at right now, you can have two lines per angler, so we each have a jigging rod and we each have a fooler out. Gotta have the foolers out. It's just helping us put more fish topside. Yep, that's the name of the game. Yeah. Done. Whoa, you just flung snow at me. Uh, my reel was down on the, on the ice here. Sorry about that. Is, are you good? Yeah, or? yeah, thank you though. That's a nice one. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice one. I like that. I like that. Come here, Mr. Walleye. Yes. Awesome. Like Ooh, geez, gosh. Watch out. He's, he's, Coffin he's, spoon he's excited to be. In. Oh, we got a flag. Oh, we have a flag. Oh my gosh. Stuff's going crazy around here. Going. <laughs> yeah, you get him. I got him. No worries. Not a bad fish, though, huh? Love it. Put it back. Sarah's going to go get one just the same size. Get a little bigger one, Hunt. No line coming out. This wind is. Picking up a little bit. There we go. It feels a little better. Oh yeah, we're tugging. We're tugging. Oh. Oh, what do we got? That's part of the fun with the finicky poolers. You never know what you're gonna get, and that is so much fun. Oh my goodness, what do we got here? It's gotta be at the hole. Oh yeah, nice walleye, nice walleye. There we go, look at that. Awesome. I love it. Oh my goodness. We are having the best day ever. There he is. I think he came up and walloped. It looked like coming right off the bottom. Nice job. Good fish. I think it's a little heavier, yeah. Oh, I got no middle head. That's probably why I'm not getting anything. Oh, I'm here. There you go. Oh, wow. That's a good fish. Yeah, he is. Can you get him? Yeah, I got him hooked just in the corner of the yeah, mouth there. Perfect. Wow. Awesome. That's a nice walleye. Yeah, he is. Here, I got a pliers on me right here. So he was lurking off to the side and then just came flying over and just walloped it. That's a good fish. <laughs> That's a nice walleye right there. Yeah. That That's nice awesome. Job. Oh my God. This is so fun. I mean, we are on numbers and we're on decent sized yep. fish and we got all sorts of things going on here. This is a blast. I love it here. Can't say enough about Tamarack. Here. No, I was saying we're not far from camp either, so that's nice. Especially in winter when you don't really want to travel that far. 
I think we have talked about most of the pieces to the puzzle, mm -hmm. but we're missing one very important ingredient. Snacks? I love snacks. We have we plenty have, of that, don't worry. We do have snacks, yeah. No, uh, we have to talk about what we're using. Coffin spoon from Northland. I knew that was coming up. Mm -hmm. Trampy tackle talk time. Oh, I like it. I like it too, Trampy that sounded good. I've been time. thinking about that for like that, the last That's a weeks. tongue twister as well. It is, but see how it <laughs> came out real natural? Lots of practice. Uh, Sarah mentioned the coffin spoon, and we talked about it probably about 40 times already. It catches fish, period. It's got the rattles in it, yeah. and Sarah's always talking about you go fish Lake of the Woods, got to have rattles. And That's of course, correct. We got the rattle bait going. Got to call them in. Got to call them in, especially when you're fishing this big structure, these huge rock humps. Yeah. You want those fish to come into your. We, we're fishing about a six foot section, right? There are two holes. Got to bring them into that spot. It's only yeah. where you're going to catch them. Fish have to see your bait. Rattles call them in. But you mentioned this before, you like that kicker tail. I do like the kicker tail. The kicker tail makes the bait really versatile because, uh, so like we said, we have rattles mm -hmm. and during the dead of winter, sometimes fish can be finicky or neutral yep. and the rattles actually spook them. So that kicker tail gives enough flash and a little bit of sound yep. against the hook to trigger the bite, but it doesn't spook them. Right. And it's got the cut edges. So it's mm -hmm. reflecting light all over the joint yep. down there. And it falls all like very erratic. Yeah. We went with a quarter ounce. They make four different sizes all the way up to three eighths, but we went with a quarter because it's got the little bit bigger hook gap yep. in the hooks and we're yep. getting really good hooks. A little bit bigger profile. A little bit bigger profile, but we're still tipping it with some meat yep. and it's getting the job done. So I'm I'm really digging mine. I like it a lot. I'm getting back down there if I can catch this minnow from the little piece. Oh, he, he's big, he's big, he's big, he's big, he's big. I'm out, I'm out of the way. Felt good. Came oh up and walloped that coffin big, spoon. He's big. Just gotta take it easy. Oh, you're getting stuck. Oh, he's right here at the hole. He's right here. Can't tell what it is. I think it's an eye. He's up. He's up. Oh yeah, dandy. Nice grab. That's what we're after right there. Get that hook out of his face. How about I just get in here on a gill real quick? I got him. Oh my. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't messing around with that. There it is, coffin's food on top, baby. Love wow. That is a, that's a long fish. Awesome. That is a dandy. Look at that fish. Get the rod out of here. Get the old coffin spoon off to the side. That is a dandy wow. Lake of the Woods walleye. Look at that fish. Holy cow, guys. Big, big walleye. I love it. Isn't that fun? Well, that fish, I mean, the big ones, when they come in, bang, they are right on it. And you can tell right away when you set the hook on a big walleye. That's nice. There's a lot of pull on the old KCR scrapper. Did that flag just go off? Yes, flag's up. Go get it, you're already up. You gonna let me do it? Okay. Yeah. I'll be back with a 27 inch walleye. Then I'm gonna regret letting you do it. No. Ooh, there's line going out. I like that. Come on, fooler. Oh yeah fish a little bit of meat so much fun now this one we have we obviously we talked about our placement on where we're putting all of our lines but we put the foolers out on this one's out on the flat a little more so a really nice walleye perfect eater look at him dig this one's we, this one's about we figured about 15 yards away from that that rock, perfect eater walleye right there. That's what we want right there. Awesome. On the flat more, because that hump is behind us and there's another hump out here. I need the pliers, I did not bring the pliers. So I'll go get the pliers, but it's a good walleye right there. And we got this fooler set right in between the two humps on a flat and we're just to the left set up by that big boulder. It's paying dividends, we're catching fish. Do your homework, look at a map, drill lots of holes, find out where you're gonna set up, especially like we do. Once we're at a spot, we're at a spot. So we gotta make sure it's the right one. We are off the ice, we are derobed, and ready for a relaxing evening. <laughs> You're gonna take it easy a little bit. We had a long day. I'm ready. That's the beauty of Tamarack Island, though. You go out in the brutal elements, mm -hmm. catch some fish, come back to the nice, warm, cozy yeah. cabins that Todd and crew keep Keep all, they, they stoke your fire do. for you when you're out. Yes. So when you come back, it's not like 50 degrees or 40. No. It's nice and toasty. It's really nice. Yeah, and I think that's something that we, you know, want to reiterate that, mm -hmm. you know, there's not a lot of fishing pressure up here. There's not a lot, just a lot of lodges that are doing this during right. the ice. And it is, they do a phenomenal job. The hospitality is out of this world. And you're, you're right. I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. But <laughs> we fish it all the time, open water, right? Yeah. We fish it a lot. We catch a lot of fish. Yeah. But it's almost tough. A 30 minute episode is tough to describe how many fish we catch. You aren't seeing all the fish we catch. No. You're seeing a minuscule amount yeah. of the fish we catch. The fishing is so good 
on hard water up here. It is, it's almost unbelievable. Yeah. And a coffin spoon, oh my goodness. I don't, yeah. I don't think a fish said no to it. I'm not sure if they did either, yeah. We were set up, you know, we used the forward facing sonar to our advantage, yeah. we set up so we didn't have to move because let's face it, like the way we ice fish, it's yeah. a lot of work right. to move or to, you know, so that's why we wanted to set up, set up on the spot. Yep. And we took, use that to our advantage yep. and the coffin spoon and, helped just seal it. And we found the, the we're calling it the rock the now. Rock. <laughs> we love the rock. There. We're going back. When you find that cover, like Sarah talked about, that is a game changer for you. Find that exact cover. Those fish just swarm to that. It's like moth to a light. Yeah, it is. They come to it, and that's what they utilize. And those fish were on it. We had a blast. Can't say enough about Tamarack. Mm. What a great time. Everybody, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you all next week on the Sportsman's Journal. For more information on the best ice fishing Lake of the Woods has to offer, visit TamarackIslandWildernessLodge.com. Long name, amazing fishing.